Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here. So for today's video, we're doing something that I haven't done in a hot minute and that is a full face of one brand and one brand only. Well, sort of. <laughs> but in today's video, I'll be doing a full face of Revlon. If you guys did not know, I recently started receiving PR from Revlon and oh, my god do they really hook me up they send so much products that i don't necessarily know what to do with all of it so i do end up giving some duplicates away but i really want to try out all their makeup the only thing i've ever tried from this brand is their foundation i have not tried anything else so this is going to be a true test to see if i love everything or there's things in here that uh might not work for me so you guys want to see what all of that is my full face of products well then definitely keep watching Alrighty guys, so you guys know that I absolutely love Revlon so much and they have literally sent me so many goodies that I'm kind of like, I don't know what to do with all of it. So I wanted to sit back and relax and do like a full face of testing out Revlon makeup. The only thing I realized I don't have is a bronzer and a blush. They've never sent me that, but they've sent me like so many lip products. We have like tons of eye products. We have mascaras. We have concealers, we have eyeshadows, we have pretty much the entire thing except for bronzer and blush. So I am gonna use a drugstore option in its place. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in. We're gonna test out these products and really kind of gauge whether or not I really love this brand or do I just kind of like really love the foundation? Let's find out. Okay, so you guys know I recently tried out Revlon in the beginning of January 2023 and I fell in love with their Revlon Colorstay Long Wear Foundation. And I have talked about this for so long and consistently reached out to Revlon just to be like, I love your foundation. It's the best foundation. Tag them in so many things. They finally reached out and said, we love you. We see you. And they start sending me stuff. And I'm still just very, very grateful because I just, it's Revlon. It's my favorite foundation. So I'm just kind of like, oh my gosh. And they're very generous with their products. So we're going to go ahead and start off with these products, see what I feel about them. So first things first, um, they sent over the color stay. This is a micro brow pencil in the shade soft brown. Now they are very generous whenever they they are, now they are very generous whenever they send over products. They send like duplicates of every single product. I've already given so many away because I don't believe in hoarding all the same products. If I have extras, I'm always going to give them away to people because I just believe in giving back. So maybe I gave away bronzer and a blush. I don't think I did, but yeah, we're going to try these out, see how well they work. So this is the shade soft brown. Like I said, I've never tried anything from Revlon other than the foundation. And I recently came across a video not too long ago that said that Revlon had experienced bankruptcy and now they're like out of bankruptcy, but the person who owned Revlon or like the CEO is actually stepping down and the person replacing them is she the person who places them i think she's from mary Kay or avon and i was never really a big fan of mary Kay or avon because i know that was like a it kind of reminded me a little bit of a pyramid scheme and i really hope that revlon continues to go in the right direction i hope this person does a good job but we'll see all right so this fully feels really nice oh my god i've got to get my freaking eyebrows done they're atrocious i've not got my eyebrows done I couldn't tell you the last time I did it and I really need to. I feel kind of bad too because I was in Ulta the other day and I forgot why I walked. Oh, I walked in there because I was trying to find the new Smashbox foundation because I really want to try it out because Tati did a video on it. And if you guys have not seen, this is definitely not the right color for me. If you guys have not seen, Tati did a video on a Smashbox foundation. And years and years ago, I did a review on a Smashbox foundation because of Tati. And I think that video got like... 45,000 views oh my god <laughs> it's always my older videos too that get views i'm like no why no let these one get views the the, the new updated one not the ones that i did like three years ago <laughs> so um i really hated that foundation and i really want to try this one to see how well it works but unfortunately they only have like a very select shade they, unfortunately they only have very select shades in the store so i wasn't able to um pick up the foundation so I just have to order it online and there is my brow girl like she I do I get my brows done oh, this is seriously not the right color I get my brows done at the benefit counter over there and uh, I feel so freaking bad I feel like such a freaking dick because she walked by she's like hi good morning and I realized in hindsight that she was talking to me but at the moment I wasn't paying attention I was just literally like beelining to the smashbox area and then I heard her go, oh, okay. And I realized when I turn around, like, I think she's talking to me. I go to wave and she's already talking to somebody else. I'm like, mm, 
wrong. I'm so sorry. Like, I'm so sorry. And I've been going to her for years and I feel like such a dick because I literally just was not paying attention. I was just so zoned in to going to the Smashbox section to find this foundation that I ended up not even finding to begin with. And um, oh, this is too light. So I ended up not even finding it. I felt bad. I went to go say hi to her when I left, but I couldn't find her. So yeah, but just now I did order that foundation. So a review should be coming soon. I don't know if I'll do a standalone review on the foundation. I think I might mix with other products. I'm going to be very real with you guys. I'm not the biggest fan of doing standalone foundation reviews anymore. And the reason being is truly just, and it's not like you guys, it's people who maybe have never encountered my content before. They, they just get so critical on how I do a review. Um, they don't like the fact that I don't touch up the foundation throughout the day, that I allow myself to get so greasy and oily. Like, how do I, how can I do that? I'm not being professional. I should really like show how the foundation's working. And I'm like, well, that's, that's the whole point. That's the whole point of why I'm doing this foundation review and not touching it up throughout the day. So I can show you how well the foundation holds up against oily skin. Like that's the whole point of the review. And people just don't seem to understand that and they get very critical and it just gets exhausting having to explain myself. And I know I don't have to, but like I just feel the need to defend my content because I'm proud of my content and um, it just kind of takes away from the joy of it. So I think I might just start doing those like in, you know, get ready with me and you know trying out new makeup and then doing like follow up reviews later on and whatnot for you guys. Now, if this wouldn't be so bad um, if I had the right color. I just have the wrong color. So it's just not that appealing brow wise, but it definitely is filling in the brows. Um, I can, I really like the pencil shape of it. I feel like if I had the right shade, this would actually be a pretty nice product personally. I like how skinny the actual like um, brow product is. It's very skinny, so it makes it really easy to do really fine lines and like fill in the sparse areas. But because I have the wrong shade, it's, it's not my favorite. But that's not Revlon's fault. And it's not my fault. It's just, I just don't have the right shade to make it work the way that I wanted to. Okay, so now that the brows are browing, <laughs> we got sent two different eyeshadows. I did get duplicates. I did put the two aside. But I got the Day to Night palette and the Day to Night palette. So we have like a neutral palette and like a purpley palette. Um, definitely not my favorite color scheme, but I'm going to swatch the two really fast so you can see what they look like. And I'll kind of decide which one to go for. Okay, so here's the swatch of this palette. Um, and I forgot that on the back they have like how to do different eye looks. That's, that's kind of cool. And then here is this palette right here. I think I'm going to go for like the neutral one. I feel like that's going to be the best option just to really kind of try these out. Okay. So like on the back, it shows like what to do. So I think we're going to mimic this one where it's like three, two, and four. So we're going to try to mimic this one. Um, I don't have that same eye shape, so we're gonna see with what we can create. I have never used a Revlon eyeshadow palette before. I don't think ever, like ever, ever. Okay, so, um, all right, we're gonna start off with number three, and this is like a little shimmer, and we're gonna put this like down at the bottom, like it said to us, so we're gonna put this right here. I'm gonna leave a little space on the inner corner just to brighten it up with a different shade. I'll probably use the purple one, but we're gonna put this right here. I feel like you can barely see that shade. Oh my gosh, I feel like you can barely see that shade. Okay, then it says to take number two. So we'll take number two. We're gonna put that right behind it. It's like a little matte with sparkly. I feel like, oh, oh. Maybe it's just me. Do I have gray eyelids? Cause this, it, I mean, you can kind of see the color on here, but like at the same time, like you can't. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. And then last one, I said take number four. So we'll take number four. We're going to put this in the outer V right here. Now it had me doing it a different shape, a different way, but, um, we're just going to go with the shape of my eye because I know that's going to work best. I'm just going to lay this right here. I mean, that's a pretty color. I'm going to take this brush from Game Beauty. This is the E07 brush right here. So we can kind of blend these shades together. It has like a little spot for your hands, which is kind of nice. I'm going to take this and I'm going to start to blend this out. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of the purple palette right here and see if we can just go into this lighter shade right here. Oh, I keep dropping these little spoolies that are in here. 
I so we could just put this right here for just an added pop very lightly just okay so this is pretty much the eye look there's really nothing to, to it um it doesn't need to be anything super intense it's very light it's, i feel like this is one of those like makeup palettes you just kind of take on the go if you're looking for something that to put on within two minutes i feel like it's definitely going to be the one for you i will say i really do like how easy this was to blend out the matte shades maybe because they are so light in pigment but they are very 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 easy to work with and i do appreciate how easy they are to blend out like, I like that. Okay, so let me just quickly do the other eye, guys, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now the eyes are done. Those are so easy to do. Definitely not my favorite. Um, I will say the formula isn't bad. Like, I won't I won't show them the formula. I just am not the favorite. I'm just not a fan of the, like, the color, personally. But I won't show them the formula. It's actually not a bad formula. Surprisingly enough, I just don't care for the actual colors that I have. Okay, so moving on to primer. We have a Revlon Colorstay Grip. This is a 16-hour matte primer. So this is a cloud-like mattifying primer for a long wear, flawless, fortified complexion. Wear alone or under makeup for an external wear. So we're gonna have to try this out. Like I said, I've not tried any of these products before, but I do like how affordable Revlon is. It's a pretty affordable brand. Okay, so this is how product looks. Doesn't have a smell to it, okay. It feels silky. It feels a little bit like this is a silicone base so there's water in it but it's not the first ingredient so it does feel a little weird um it's very smoothing it feels a little greasy smoothing but like a little a little greasy a little greasy almost like you're putting on like silicone base but it says it has water in it so okay so for foundation you guys know my absolute favorite foundation is the revlon color stay long wear combination to oily this has been my ride or die this is in the shade 240 um i am the shade 220 but they did send me some deeper shades i went ahead and passed this along so this is like the lightest one that i do have from them but i think it's going to kind of work out though only because of the fact that like i've been tanning like crazy and i've been saying my other shades just a little bit too light at the moment so i feel like the 240 can definitely work however they also sent over another foundation and is the Revlon Colorstay 24 hour combination to oily skin right here. Now this is their older foundation. So if you guys did not know sometime and like sometime between like August of 2022 through like October 2022, they actually quietly reformulated this foundation. So this was the old foundation and they rolled out with this one sometime during that time period with the new formulation without really ever saying anything. So I kind of wonder if they're the same. I mean, I've heard people online say that they're not. I heard people say this one is so much better than this one, but then I've also heard people say this one is so much better than this one. I don't know. Now that they send me the old foundation, Yes, but at the same time, no, because it's not been open, so it's not expired or anything like that. And plus, I have foundation I've had for years. As long as it doesn't stink and anything like that, I still use it. So I don't really think it's old or anything like that. This is just the older packaging and the older formulation because I did roll out with this one. So I really kind of want to try this one out. This is in the shade 220, which is my shade. And I want to know how I feel about this foundation. Do I Will I still love it the same or do I prefer the newer one? Because I've never tried this old one. I've only tried the new one, and that one's been my ride or die since January. So I'm really curious to see like what I'm going to think about this. So let's go ahead and try this one out. Okay, still smells the same. She seems to be actually a little thinner. The other one has a little bit more of a thicker consistency. This consistency, this one seems to be just a little bit thinner. So I'm already going in with a second coat right here. But we'll have to just really try it out. I will let you guys know the longevity of this in my repurchase or trash series because today is not a wear test. Because today I'm not going to do a wear test and do like check ins, but I will keep trying this out and I will do a. Um, a final thought on it at the end of my repurchase or trash at the end of um, August. So that's where you guys will see my true final thoughts. Today would just be more of like a first impression of what I think about this foundation and kind of like how it compares to the newer version. Okay, so based upon first impression, it's not wanting to fully stay to my, oh my God, I look like a ghost. I look like Flashback Mary. I'm so pale. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I will say about this particular foundation, at least the other one does, it does tend to oxidize down just a little bit, but it's a little scary right now. And with my freaking eyes, I look like freaking Fester from the Adams family. <laughs> oh my god, what the heck? I didn't think I was auditioning for that today. Alrighty. Okay. So based on first impression, I really don't mind the formula so far. I definitely feels like it's a little bit lighter. It feels like it's a bit more waterier, watery, watery, watery. 
It's a little bit like it feels like it just has a little bit more of a lighter consistency. I did kind of have to use a little bit more foundation compared to the other one. The other one feels like a little bit, a little bit thicker and that it just has more of a full um, it just seems like it's more full coverage. This one seems like a medium to buildable coverage. I really kind of had to build it up. So I did have to go in with two coats. So we're definitely going to see how well it works with like other products. And I just look so scary. <laughs> okay. So four concealers, they sent over four concealers. Um, they're all the same. They just are different shades, but they are the, um, color Revlon color stay skin awaken caffeine plus vitamin C. This is a five in one concealer. So I have the shade 040, 040, 01, and 05. I feel like, I feel like the 05 looks lighter than the 01, right? Yeah, this looks lighter. So we're going to go in with this today. It's not one of those, <sighs> I hate these things. I, what I did, just squeeze. Does it unlock? No, I just squeeze. Okay. I, I hate products like this because they tend to get super, super messy and they tend to not um, be very clean and to, they tend to not be really clean to work with. If they don't twist back, they're not really enjoyable for me to work with. Um, it's why I had to throw away my e.l.f. wands and my Milani wands because it was just so, <laughs> it's gross, it just fills up the cap. Okay, this concealer, a little bit goes a long way. I think I kind of overdid it with the product but a little bit goes a long way, but I will say it's laying down really nicely underneath the eyes. Okay, so for setting powder, I have the Revlon Blot. This is a matte setting powder. It lasts up to 16 hours, so I have the shade 01. <laughs> um, hopefully this is a good good match. So I'm gonna tap it into the cap. This is, oh, shit, oh no. It's everywhere. I don't have a smell to it. It's, actually going on really really smooth holy shit do you guys see how smoothing that is what the heck wow you know what i have to say that's actually really really nice setting powder it is very very smoothing i don't know if it's supposed to blur i mean she's really messy to kind of pull the cap off like this but this is super oh my god this is so messy <laughs> it's super nice on the skin my skin looks incredibly blurred it looks really smooth and it actually added a little bit of a color to it so it's not making it look so pale on here it says that this um it's just a mattifying setting spray it's all it does it actually looks really nice it looks really nice what the heck i'm gonna really have to put the setting powder to the test because this is looking really nice right now it's very smoothing that is very impressive that's impressing me right now. It's just, I love how smoothing it looks. Okay, so for bronzer, I'm just gonna go in with Milani bronzer right here, cause like I said, I don't have um, a bronzer from Revlon. So we're just gonna quickly bronze the face with my Milani bronzer. It's still a drugstore, so it could still, it could still work for this. Okay, so then for blush, we're just gonna go into my Essence. This is uh, the Lion King blush, brush, blush in the shade Remember Who You Are. It's like a really nice like peachy blush. I think this is only like a couple bucks. It's really, really pretty. So I'm just gonna take this, I'm gonna stamp this into the skin. It's like a nice like orangey pink vibe, which I really do like. So for highlighter, they did send over the Revlon Skin Lights right here. This is in the shade um, 201 Daybreak Glimmer, but I actually already have one. So we're gonna use mine so I can pass this new one along. Um, that way someone can get a good use out of it because I have mine right here. So I'm gonna take it on my brush. I'm just going to lightly place this right here. Ooh, so pretty. Okay, so finish off the eyes. We're gonna go back into this palette one more time. I'm just gonna take like the deeper shade right here to kind of smoke it out underneath. And I'm gonna use the little brush that it came with. I'm not really the biggest fan of these little spoolie things. I said that in a video not too long ago. And some of you guys actually said that you love these things. So we're gonna try it out again because I have not used these little spoolies in like forever. So we're just gonna see how well this works. I think I talked about it in like a new makeup release, but how I wasn't a fan of these little, oh my gosh, it's so hard. Oh, these little spoolie things. And you know what? I'm sticking to what I said. <laughs> no offense. If you guys love it, I support you. But for me, that is just way too hard. And, um, it's way too hard. Like it just is, it feels rough. Okay. So for, um, mascara, they sent over two mascaras. So I have the Big Bad Lash. This is the Extreme Volume and Lash 
tint effect. And then we have the So Fierce Lifted High Volume Mascara. I'm gonna kind of like use both because you guys know I don't just like to use one mascara. I do like to use different mascaras. So let me see how these ones look. All right, so this is how the eyes, this is how the So Fierce, ooh. That looks like Negan's bat from The Walking Dead. You guys know what I'm talking about? Like, oh, that looks like Negan's bat. Oh, okay. And then let me see how this one looks. Mm. All right, we're gonna have to try these out together. All right, so let's try the So Fierce one first. Ow, ow, ah, ah. Be very careful with this one because it's very spiky. It's definitely lifting the lashes, but it's also kind of spreading because I just stabbed myself in the eye because of like Negan's freaking bat. Like, y'all see that? This shit's about to punch you in the eye. It's definitely lifting the lashes though. I will give it that. It is definitely lifting and separating, but oh, oh that hurt. Okay, let's try the other one with the big bad lash right here. Is that, oh, I thought it was gonna be a wolf howling. I thought that'd be so freaking cool. You know, this one's definitely lifting the lashes pretty well. It's very soft. It's not hurting the lash. It's not pulling. It's not transferring. It's actually, I think I kind of like it more. Although this one's like the style that I go for in terms of like the type of wand. Um, this one's kind of nice. This one's actually pretty nice. All right, I'm going to mix the two together now because I really just kind of want to see what it'd be like by mixing them together. Last mascara is drying down. We're going to go in back to the skin lights. I'm just going to quickly paste this in the inner corner and brow bone. I might use an eyeliner today. I did get a black liner. I don't know black would go good with this or just like a light white liner. I think a white liner looked best. I feel like if I did black, I'd want to have like a nice like wing lash to go with it. I feel like it, I can make it like really like smoky then and I don't want to put on lashes right now because I genuinely want to try out the mascara. So I think I'm just going to do white liner today. Okay so for lips um, they sent over like I said quite a few lip products and <laughs> some more lip products. So I'm going to quickly swatch them all on my hand and then we're going to kind of determine which one to go for. I do have um lip liners to go with that. And I won't pick the lip liner until I pick the lipsticks. I feel like that'd be the easiest route to go. So let me just quickly swatch these. If there's any duplicates, I'm gonna put the duplicates aside, but I think I pulled out all the duplicates. So let me quickly swatch these and I'll be right on back. Okay, so we had a few duplicates. I have all the shades right here. So I'm gonna kind of go over them really fast. So they're called, they're all in like number orders. So up first, we have the shade called 001 Gut Instinct. Then we have number two, um, 002 no rules, 003 wanted all, 004 pure talent, 008 that girl, 012 power trip, and then 016 breadwinner. And then right here we have a cream lipstick. This is going to be in the shade 764 on, on the mauve. And then we have the last shade, which is going to be a 755 bear it all right there. So they're all the lip swatches. Um, I kind of kind of figure out which I want to go for because then over here we have the lip liners. So up first we have this shade called nude, which is going to be this shade right here. Then we have this shade, which is going to be called Sienna core. Then we have this, this shade right here. This is called pink rose, which you guys will see right here. Then we have this red shade right here, and this is called red <laughs> and then the last shade is going to be called wine right there so here are the lip liners and the lipsticks now i kind of figure out which one i want to use hmm i think i might actually take this shade which would be the zero zero four pure talent i think i might actually mix it with this shade because it, i did get one gloss and the gloss a pure gloss like this so i think for this we're gonna go into the Sienna shade because I feel like this will be the best. I'm gonna quickly line my lips with the Sienna shade. Okay, not bad. Damn, this is actually super creamy. Oh, okay, that is actually super, super creamy. Okay, then I'm gonna go into the shade called Pure Talent, like this brown shade right here because I'm gonna mix a different shade. This is their Suede Ink. These are one of their newest lip formulas they rolled out with. It's one of their newest lip products they rolled out with. So I'm gonna take this, huh? That's this right here. Apply though, it's actually a really, really pretty color. I, I don't think I really need to mix it with anything. Like another lipstick. I mean, I might just do just a little bit, but this is a really, holy shit, this is a really pretty color. This is like a perfect brown for a fall. It is pretty drying though. 
Um, you guys know that I'm not the biggest fan of lipsticks and when I do wear them, I don't want them to be like a Sahara desert on my lips. I like them to be very hydrating. This is pretty drying, so it kind of makes me wonder like, Or that kind of product. Okay. I don't know if I want to mess it up. I might just take a little bit, a little bit of the 0755 bear it all. Just like a tiny, tiny bit, right? Just kind of go do, 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 like just in the center. Didn't really do anything. <laughs> that really didn't do anything. Um, shoot. I am really liking how this looks. Let me swatch the gloss because I don't know if I want to mess it up. So this is the gloss. I'm curious to see if it's like sticky. Ooh, has a little bit of a, ooh, has a little bit of stickiness to it. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of want to go for a matte lip. I haven't done a matte lip in forever. I kind of, I kind of want to go for a matte lip. What? Okay, so then last but not least, we have the Locket um, 24 hour setting spray. So let's try this out. This actually kind of turned out really pretty. I, I'm, pleasantly surprised <laughs> this actually turned out really pretty oh my gosh it's just nice all right guys let me go ahead and zoom you guys out and quickly go over everything okay so i'm quickly kind of go over everything and give you guys my first impressions so up first with the revlon grip this is a 16 hour matte primer i don't really know how i feel about this i'm really gonna have to keep testing it out it just felt like a very greasy silicone base even though it's, it has water it's not the first ingredient um, I'm really gonna have to see how I feel about this. So this is one of those those one of those primers we're going to keep testing out. To, to <laughs> this is one of those primers we're going to keep testing out, so I can give you guys my opinions on this. Um, we have the Revlon. This is the matte finish color stay foundation. This reminds me so much of my favorite foundation from them. I will say the only difference is that it definitely feels a little bit more lightweight. It feels a little bit more watery. It feels like a little has a little bit more of like a lighter consistency. Like I definitely had to go over it twice before you know, it became the consistency that I like. Um, so we're really going to keep testing this out all month long. I'll give you guys my final opinions on this at the end of the month and kind of do like a comparison between the two. Do I like the reformulation better or is the OG just as good, if not better? So I'll let you guys know that at the end of the month. Then we do have the concealer. So as you guys can see, um, she's already like, I don't know if you guys can tell, she's already like filling up with product. And I, I don't like that. It's the only reason why I don't like these type of components because I don't like how it just leaks. I've had that with all my other products. I think the only one I don't have issues with is my Charlotte Tilbury because you can lock it. These ones don't have the capability to lock. But besides that, I did like the consistency of it. I like how it brightened. So we're really going to have to keep testing this out so I can give you guys my opinions at the end of the month as well. Now, the one part that truly did kind of take me by surprise was the Blot It, like the Blot Matte Setting Powder. Like this is so pretty. It still looks really pretty right now on the skin. I'm thoroughly impressed with this. It was very blurring, very smoothing. Whether it holds up all day, I don't know. I'll let you guys know that at the end of the month, but I was very impressed with this based on first initial application. It looked really, really, really nice. I was like, oh my gosh, like it was just so smoothing, so blurring, and I just wasn't expecting that from this. So I really, really like this product so far. I'm not gonna do the brush, the blush, or the bronzer because those are not Revlon, but the skin lights, I've talked to you guys about this so much. It's a beautiful, beautiful highlighter. I have nothing bad to say about this. The eyebrow pencil, um, it's not my favorite. <laughs> it's definitely not my favorite. I have the wrong color, so it's technically not Revlon's fault. I do like the bristle on this. The bristle is super, super nice, but I just am not the biggest fan of like the formula and whatnot. I like how skinny this part is, but definitely not my favorite brow product. It's just, it's just not. Then we have these two little eyeshadow palettes. You know, at first I talked a lot of shit, but looking at it right now with the final look, it's actually not bad. Like it's not a bad color it's not my favorite by any means and i definitely won't find myself reaching the, for this one a lot compared to other palettes that i have but i will say the formula is it's not bad like the shimmer the shimmers are are nice they're not what i'm used to but they're nice and the mattes are very easy to work with they're very very easy to work with i just am definitely not a big fan of the color but i think the lip that i paired with it today makes it like look a little bit better in my opinion but i feel like if i went with a different look or like a different lip i wouldn't have liked it but i think pairing it with the brown lip 
makes it look really nice. Other than that, I wouldn't necessarily reach for these that often compared to other ones. So if you're gonna get anything from this video, not saying you have to, but if you want to, you can kind of skip on these. I don't think you're really missing too much. Then we do have the lip liners. You know, the lip liners are really nice. I really enjoy the lip liner. It's super creamy, very, very pigmented. I definitely wanna check out more colors from this brand. It kind of reminds me a lot of the ColourPop lip liners. And I just talked to you guys about yesterday how I really do enjoy ColourPop lip liners. And these are very, very, very similar of that. I really do enjoy their lip liners. So I definitely want to keep playing with these and see how well I like them. And then we have their lipsticks. So I have several few lipsticks right here and I only used one and that is the shade 04, 004 Pure Talent. Oh my gosh, this is one, a beautiful, beautiful lip color. Like it's just like the perfect color for fall. I do have butthole lips. <laughs> I do. It is drying. It's very drying on the lips. Um, so it's not like my favorite uh, uh, formula out there because I can feel it kind of dry, but it's not transferring, which I really, really, really do love. A lot of times I wear like a deeper brown like this, depending on the brand, it can transfer onto my drink or my food or whatever I'm doing. And I just, I like the fact knowing that this isn't going to go anywhere. Like she's not going to budge. And I really do appreciate that. And I just feel like it's a really beautiful color, especially for the fall season. This is gorgeous. Now I'm sure if I put on a really pretty like bronzy gloss to go with this, it would even elevate the game even more. But the gloss right here, like I said, I didn't try it because I really just wanted to go for a matte lip. It just felt very sticky, but I will try this in a future video for you guys before we do the repurchase of trash at the end of the month to give you guys my full opinion on it. But based on first impressions with just the swatching, it feels a little sticky. I'm not the biggest fan of the smell. And then last but not least, we have the setting spray. Um, setting spray. I don't really know how good this is. We'll have to keep trying it out, but I will say I really didn't have that much expectations going into this video, trying out these products. I've never really been one to shop Revlon over the years. I just recently kind of got into the brand this past year. I've actually really gotten into drugstore this past year and Revlon kind of took me by surprise with how using their foundation was. And now trying these products, I'm kind of like, dang, like these are pretty good. Like these are pretty good for what they are. Oh, and I forgot to mention the mascaras. The mascaras are actually not bad. I prefer the Big Bad Lash well over this one. This one stabbed me in the eye. It's a little painful. This one was actually nice. It didn't transfer, didn't, didn't, didn't transfer, didn't get messy. And it's actually a really nice coat on the lips. On, on the, it's actually a really nice coat on the lashes. But like I said, I was just really kind of surprised by the quality of this stuff. I just wasn't expecting too much. And it kind of took me by surprise, but in a good way. So Revlon, thank you so much for sending these amazing goodies my way. I'm so excited to see what you guys come up with next to try out more products. Let me know down below if you guys have tried out any of these products before. And if you have, what is your favorite product? And should I get a bronzer and blush? Am I missing out on it? So that is it for today's video, guys. If you guys like today's video, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already. I do post four to five videos every single week. Make sure you guys head over to my other channel. It's R for Life. You guys get to see my cool, wonderful adventures, my amazing husband, Corey. And as always, the biggest thank you goes to these beautiful, wonderful Patreon members you guys see right here. Thank you guys so much for everything. And to my subscribers and viewers, thank you guys so much for being here. Whether you guys like this video, you guys thumbs down this video, you guys subscribed, you guys did not subscribe, either way thank you guys so much for being here i love and appreciate each and every single one of you so with that said guys i love you and i'll see you guys in the very next video bye well then definitely revlon <laughs> fuck i gotta redo this we are doing a new so for today's video we